Good day, everyone. My name is Maria Konjelska, and you are watching Poland Daily Culture. The idea of this program is to present to you special artists which work in Poland or have something to do with Poland. And the person we're talking today about is absolutely special. Sylvia Garak unites her vocal abilities with painting abilities. So she is a multitasking painter and worker and artist. So thank you very much for sharing this time with us and telling your story to us. Where you already had your exhibitions and what especially interests me is your relationship with Museum Susch in Switzerland. Uh, for those who don't know this museum, tell a little bit, few words, why this place is special and what you've been doing with them. Uh, actually, I'm an artist who, from time to time, um, applies for this residency around the world because uh, I'm interested in um, cooperation with art institutions that are upscale, let's say so, and uh, also geographically it's very uh, one of the kind. So I used to visit that, um, San Francisco by area. Uh, some other part of Switzerland, close to Lausanne, and also uh, Düsseldorf. But what interested me the most was this kind of uh, museum that was invented, created by Grażyna Kulczyk. When I've seen in the social media the profile of Museum Susch, I was really amazed at it, all, the, all the photographies of the museum looked terrific. And I've learned about it that um, it's um, situated in very special place in the Alps. It's in very, very small uh, town, actually almost a village. Uh, there is like 200 inhabitants over there, as far as I remember. Beautiful nature, really amazing, like like from fairy tales or... <laughs> and also the architecture of the museum is one, one of the kind because it consists of um, very old monastery that stand in the way for Santiago de Compostela. Uh, so it was used for this, um, those pilgrims as a place to stay for a little bit. But also um, wonderful contemporary architecture that was combined um, with the old buildings, which is really, it looks amazing and very, very modest and very upscale at the same time. And I was wondering what kind of acoustics it can be, because as a singer and sound artist, I work with acoustics and sound properties. And it struck me really, uh, what kind of acoustic can be there? So I have written the project. I've written about me. I've written about what I'm going to do there and why I want to go there for a research and apply. Then I forgot about it because um, it's really hard to get there. It's a very special place. But after some months, I got this answer that I'm invited there. I was very happy about it. I went there and started my research. My research was based on walking around this great, great museum, this great architecture, and just singing there, just finding the most acoustic places. And I found them many. I was really right that this special architecture has to have special acoustics as well. So I did um, Syria, the whole Syria of performances that I recorded 
and I've made this video, sound video project when I'm singing in all of the places in the museum. But uh, also um, at the end of my residency, I made this, uh, we created this event with the other artists and also we invited the uh, Sush community. I made this performing exactly in the old church. There was a Protestant church, kind of Baroque, which is a part of museum as well. And this is also very special place historically, but also visually. And I've never ever had this even, I can say spiritual feeling during uh, performing because I really found something like um, the heart of the church. And when I started my performance, uh, some people came to me and told me that in the place where the church was built up, a long time before there was a Celtic temple. During the pagan history of Switzerland, there was many Celtic uh, temples around the country and after Christianity came they started building up uh, the churches in the same place and those people found actually kind of I don't know how to name it chakra or something I don't want to be very spiritual about it I'm just telling my um, experience that they had at the time and it was all connected, the spirituality of the place was connected with the actually acoustics. So it really worked perfectly over there. And I would like to ask you about what I know you looking during your performances is an acoustic center. So just to explain to our viewers, uh, what actually is this acoustic center and how are you trying to find it and why are you doing it? So uh, is, is, does every single place, every single building has an acoustic center? Uh, actually, um, I've learned about this phenomenon uh, du during those my studies of vocal in uh, the laborator uh, laboratory of voice uh, with Professor Olga Schweiger. Who is very spiritual person? She is very spiritual. Person. Reiki master and all those things, but I'm actually mm, more focused on my personal experience. I also uh, learn about uh, a lot of science about it, but I'm focused on my just experience. Acoustic sensor is a place in the building, in interior or but it can be any building, it can be any space, it can be pyramid in Egypt, it can be ancient temple, it can be church, especially a uh, church with pipe organs is designed for those purposes. But it can also can be a military bunker, like I, I used to examine military bunker also in San Francisco Bay area. It can be cave, rock cave, anything. And um, acoustic center is a center where the voice starts vibrating, not only voice, but all, any sound starts vibrating. It's a center of like a acoustic heart of the interior. And it's also in biology used by uh, cave dwelling singing birds to navigate themselves and communicate themselves by the voice, by the, by the sound. So it's also, uh, humans also have this ability, but we just don't pay attention every day for this. But when you start um, really work with your voice and with those kind of sensitivity, this kind of vibration you can receive, uh, you can really be open for uh, those uh, kind of sensations. So I base my performances or uh, looking for uh, those acoustic places, which, as I said before, uh, were considered by the builders of the temples, pagan temples uh, and also modern churches, as a um, heart of the interior, heart, heart of the temple. So it's all connected and it's kind of spiritual 
you can think spiritually about it, but you can also think about it as the some um, scientific phenomenon. So. Wow, it sounds incredible, and I hope the viewers of Poland Daily became interested in the topic of acoustic center of places, churches, and other buildings, and maybe they will try to find something themselves. Acoustic center, that's what Sylvia Garak is trying to find during her performances. Wonderful thing. Well, check it out. We will show you a little bit as well, and I hope you'll enjoy it, and if you can sing, Find the acoustic center of your house yourself. And thank you very much for watching Poland Daily Culture.